Chapter 13. Flutter Cow, the Butterfly Cow. We took off for Rainbow Valley. I was feeling good. We already had two of the seven charms, and we were going to a place called Rainbow Valley. How bad could it be? Still, after many hours, Chatterclaw began to complain. My paws are killing me. If we have to walk much more, I'm going to turn into a real crab. Maybe we can call Blossom on the chatter phone and she can send some kind of fairy transportation, I said. The crab snorted. There aren't many dragons or unicorns here. Then, suddenly, he cried, I've got it. We can take a flying cow. You're joking, I squealed. Cows don't fly. Tell that to the one right behind you, the crab chuckled. I turned around, ready to call the crab's bluff, and let out a shriek of surprise. Behind me, I saw the strangest sight. Yup, that's right, a flying cow. The cow was the size of an ordinary cow with horns, hooves, and a tail, but the rest of her was anything but ordinary. Her coat was white, with, dotted with sparkling, colorful spots. Around her neck was a chain of pink flowers, and on her back were giant, shimmering butterfly wings. She's perfect, Chatterclaw shouted. Hold on, I think I'll catch her with my lasso. But as soon as the strange creature realized the crab was planning to catch her, she made a face at us and fluttered off. Then I had an idea. I pulled out the second charm and held it up to the cow. I said the secret word. We are friends. Instantly, the cow's eyes widened. Well, move on over, friend. I'm coming in for a landing, she sang. Light as a breeze, the cow landed on the ground. Meanwhile, Chatterclaw produced a book from his shell entitled Creatures of the Kingdom of Fantasy from A to Z and Beyond. He paged through it quickly, then read along. You must be Fluttercow, a butterfly cow. That's me, Fluttercow mood. At your service. Where are you headed? As Fluttercow helped us climb onto her back, Chatterclaws clustered our map. We need to go to the whatchamacallit, the medallion of the sun of the moon that's found in Rainbow. But before the crab could ever finish his sentence, Fluttercow f- took flight, headed straight for the clouds. Moldy mozzarella, that cow was as fast as a jetliner. I gripped onto a horn for dear life. The cow continued to climb until we were right in the middle of a cloud. Then she slowed down so we could admire the moon and the stars that filled the sky. Of course, I had to open my eyes first, which were squeezed shut in fear. But once I did, I discovered that the night sky is a beautiful sight. During the flight, Flutter Cow told us all about how she turned from an ordinary cow into a butterfly cow. The story of Flutter Cow, the butterfly cow. It all began a long time ago on a beautiful sunny day. There was a breeze waving through the grassy field. I had just finished munching on some clothes and were admiring the butterfly fluttering around me. Oh, how I wish I could be as nimble as them, and how I'd love to be able to fly. The butterflies were colorful, delicate, and as light as feather. I, on the other hoof, was only black and white and felt like a big, huge, well, cow. Just then I heard someone shouting, Help! I looked around but didn't see anyone. I was about to lie down on the grass, but again I heard a shout. Who can help the queen of the butterflies? I turned and finally saw a butterfly caught in the middle of a large spider web. The butterfly had large shimmering gold wings and a crown on her head made of tiny dewdrops. I knew right away I had to help. With the bat of a hoof, I destroyed the web and freed the butterfly. Once free, the butterfly queen flew up to me and asked, What can I do for you, generous creature? You saved my life. I thought for a minute, and then I said, Well, please don't think I'm crazy, but my greatest wish is to be able to fly. The queen smiled. You wish is my command, she said. Then she brushed my shoulder with her wings, causing some of her golden shimmer to fall on me. Suddenly, from out of my back, two gorgeous, colorful wings sprouted. My coat became multicolored, and a chain of pink flowers appeared around my neck from now on you will be called flutter cow the butterfly cow said the queen you are a special cow you can fly and make milk though that will have thousand different flavors and when you eat the flowers on this necklace you will gain extraordinary powers that will make you invincible since then i have fluttered happily above the fields of the kingdom of fantasy